Breaking news tonight. Two teenage boys with special needs involved in a shooting. One of them is the victim. Police say the other fired the gun. Good evening. Welcome. I'm Tom Haynes. And I'm Sine Simpson. That shooting happened outside Mountain Motorsports on Upper Hembry Road in Roswell. Police say a group of special needs boy on their way to a camping trip were left in a car in the parking lot and one boy accidentally shot and killed another. Fox 5's George Franco joins us live now from Roswell with this heartbreaking story. George? Tom and Sine, the SUV involved in this apparent terrible accident has been removed from the parking lot behind me, but Roswell police investigators still trying to determine exactly what happened inside the SUV, which left a special needs teenager dead of a gunshot wound. Let's go to some video, show you more of what we're talking about. Police tell us they got a call of shots fired in the parking lot here earlier this afternoon, and authorities say an SUV stopped here at the Mountain Motorsports to pick up supplies for a camp trip the group of special needs teenagers were on. Roswell police say an adult chaperone left the vehicle apparently to go into the store to get those supplies and that apparently is when one teenager fired the weapon killing the other teenager. One witness who works nearby said she heard two gunshots before police arrived. I heard two gunshots. Um, about 15 minutes later, I saw the police arrive. So we were all really scared. Um, there was another woman that saw a man. Um, he came past her in his car and said, help, I've been shot. How does a special needs teenager get a hold of a weapon like this? This is going to be a this is going to be a tough investigation um, because of the, the victim, the person who pulled the trigger, the witnesses, all with special needs and uh, a lot to sort through to figure out how this happened. Police tell us the 67-year-old man who was shot in the hand took himself to the hospital in stable condition right now. The names of the teenager who was killed and the teenager who fired the weapon and the people involved from that location have not been released. We are told this was part of a special uh, nonprofit from Tucker by the name of Buddy and Me. We'll continue following this story, bring you any updates later on Fox 5 News on air and online. But for now, in Roswell tonight, I'm George Franco, Fox. Five news.